Yo yo yo, what is up YouTube, Elder Wizard Gaming here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download a wizard mod. This is an actual mod, it has add-ons, <laughs> one must try, that is right young wizard. Uh, but yeah, this comes with, you're going to have to install two things, a resource pack and a add-on. So I'm going to show you guys how to install the wizard mod. I built this tower, this wasn't naturally generated. Um, so yeah, if you guys want wizards, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And they spawn naturally in the world. This is an evil wizard, so they'll attack you. If you're not in um, if you're not in creative and you are in survival, they will attack you and they shoot fire at you. If you guys want uh, not only wizards but Shrek to be in your Minecraft, uh, I have a Shrek tutorial linked in the description. If you want Shrek in your Minecraft world, go ahead and follow that tutorial. Also, if you guys want better grass, uh, you know how grass only grows on the top of a block and then there's like a little bit of dirt exposed on the side? Uh, I have a better grass tutorial linked in the description as well that makes it so the grass grows on the side and it just makes your world look a lot nicer and a, le a lot less uh, more, a lot less ugly. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. So if you guys want to, uh, wizards in your Minecraft world, uh, Follow this tutorial and I'm going to show you how to install the wizard mod. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so step one of this tutorial is to push the middle button, go over all the way to the right on settings, go to on the left side as soon as this is done loading, find display and sound, click on video output, and then in the middle, video, fidelity, and overscan. Once you click on here, over here on the right side, overscan border, Make sure that there is no check mark right here. Boom, that's what it looks like with the check mark. Boom, that's what it looks like without it. If you have a check mark there, you will not be able to download this wizard mod. So make sure there is no check mark. Okay, so step two is to make sure that you have File Downloader, File Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and UFO.transfer. You can find UFO.transfer and File Downloader in the Microsoft Store for apps but if you do not have file explorer google how to get file explorer on xbox one it should be on here by default but if you do not google how to get it i will not be able to help you with that so next you're going to click on microsoft edge and navigate yourself onto this website mcpedl.com you can google it and you could search it on bing either way go to this website once you are on here, you are going to click on the magnifying glass at the top right and then type in W I Z A R D. Then you're going to press the pause button and then B. And there you go. You are going to click on this one right here. There's a bunch of different things, but they're not the mod actually. Yeah, that's not the mod either. This is a different wizard add on. Make sure you click on this one right here. Once the page loads up, you're going to scroll down past all of these pictures and information and right here, you will see downloads wizard.v2.mc add-on. You're going to hover over it so the little cruiser becomes blue with a hand pointing and then once you have it blue with a hand pointing, you're going to press the pause button on it, aka the button with the three lines and then copy link. After you copy link, we are going to open up the other app that you need, File Downloader. Once File Downloader is done loading, you are going to click the three lines at the top left and go into From URL. Once this finishes loading, you are going to click Local Storage. And then at the top right here where it says Enter or Paste It Here, press A and then push B and then hover over it, over it again and then press the pause button and then paste. Once you are done pasting what we copied from Microsoft Edge into this box, you're going to press the arrow that points down over on the right side of the screen. After you do that, there you are going to press the big uh, rectangle that is gray that says start at the bottom of the screen. And what this is doing is it will download the the pack itself now that you've downloaded the pack you're going to click the three lines at the top left and go to storage once storage loads you're going to click on local storage 
and then right here wizards.v2.mc add-on you're going to press the check mark next in the square next to it make sure there's a check mark and then press the three dots at the bottom right of the screen and then rename and then press the right bumper and erase mc add-on leave the dot and then put z i p and then once you're done typing that in you're going to press ok and you know you did it right when this little picture shows a folder and then a blue thing at the bottom that says zip now what we are going to do is we are going to press the a button on the word wizard right here and once this loads you're going to press this over at the bottom right the three lines with the two check marks in the square and then you are going to press the paper pointing to the paper right on the left of it what we did is we just copied both of these files now all you have to do is push b one time and once you are back over on this side you are going to press the clipboard at the bottom right to paste those two files here and then we are going to press the check mark on the wizard v dot v2 dot zip we're going to press that check mark and then we're going to delete it by pressing the trash can at the bottom right because you do not need this anymore and then press ok to confirm deletion now the next thing we are going to do is the same thing that we did earlier only with these two packs we are going to press the check mark next to the wizard b e h and then we are going to press the three dots at the bottom right and then rename we are going to press right bumper erase mc pack leave the dot and then put z i p and then press ok now we're going to do the same thing with wizard r e s you're going to press the check mark next to wizard r e s and then press the three dots at the bottom right and then rename and then press right bumper and erase mc pack and leave the dot and then put a z i and then press OK so the next step will be to go over to the top and then type in W I Z A R D space R E S after you type that you're going to press the three dots at the bottom right and then press new folder what we did is we created a new folder called wizard res now you're going to press b to go back now we are going to do the same thing for wizard beh we are going to go over to the top one more time and then type w i z a r d space b e h after you're done doing that you're going to press b and then go over to the bottom right and press new folder once again and then once this loads you're going to press B again to go back and as you can see over on the left side now we have wizard BEH and wizard RES what we are going to do now is we are going to press on the wizard BEH dot zip and then once all this loads you're going to press the three lines with the two check marks in the square at the bottom right and then you're going to press the paper pointing to the paper to the left of it what we did is we copied everything inside of this file now press B to go back now that we are back here we are going to go over to the wizard B E H and press A on it and now you're going to press the clipboard on the bottom right to paste all of the files from the zip file into this one now we are going to press B to go back and now we are going to do the same thing with the wizard res dot zip press A on it and once it's done loading you're going to press on the three lines with the two check marks in the square at the bottom right and then the paper pointing to the paper to the left of it there you go once you press that you have copied all of these now press B to go back and go into the wizard res folder and then go over to the bottom right and paste it by clicking the clipboard at the bottom right after it is all done being pasted you're going to press B to go back once again and I'm just gonna tell you guys to delete these now because you really do not need them and then press the two check marks to the left of wizard beh.zip and the, to the left of wizard res.zip not these we need these two delete these two and then press the trash can after you put the check mark on them okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to open up the other app that you needed to download hopefully you have it by now it's called ufo.transfer once ufo.transfer is done loading 
If you do not have this gear icon at the top right of your screen, you skipped step one. Rewind the tutorial and to find out what step one is in order to get this to appear at the top right. But if you already have it at the top right, go ahead and press A on the gear icon and then over on the left side, this big rectangle that says open in file explorer, press A on that. Once this is done loading, you're gonna go over to the top and click A on packages. And then go down until you find megascopes.universal file. It has a bunch of random numbers in front of it but mine's is on the right, yours might be on the left. It depends. Once you find this folder, you're going to press A on it. Now you're going to press A on local state. And then right here, we have wizard rest and wizard BEH. First, I'm going to have you move wizard BEH and we'll come back for this one. So hover over wizard BEH, press the pause button and then copy. And then you're going to go back to the top and click on packages. Now you're going to go down until you find microsoft.minecraft.u No, it's microsoft.minecraft.uwp console. Mine is on the left, yours might be on the right. It's a little bit difficult to find it if this is your first time doing it, but once you find it, press A on it, and then go into local state, games, mojang, and then right here. If you do not have a resource pack folder or a behavior pack folder, you're going to have to create them by clicking this paper icon at the bottom right of your screen. Once you press on it, you're going to name them the correct names. You're going to name them resource underscore packs and behavior underscore packs. If you misspell anything, it will not work and it will not show up inside of your game. So once you have them created, we are going to open up behavior packs and then at the bottom right you're going to paste it by clicking on the clipboard. And there you go, just like that, boom, wizard BEH, it's inside the correct folder. Now you're going to press B and then press B again and then at the top you're going to go to packages and we are going back into the megascopes.universal file folder. Then click on local state. And then right here, wizard res, hover over it, press the pause button and copy. Now we're going to go all the way to the top again, click on packages. And now once again, we are going to find Microsoft UWP console. Once you have located this, press A on it again, and then local state, and then games, Mojang, resource underscore packs. And then over here at the bottom right, you're going to press the clipboard to paste it into this folder. And just like that, boom, wizard res is in the correct folder. All you have to do now is load up Minecraft itself and equip the pack. I'm going to show you how to do that. After Minecraft is done loading, you're going to press play and then create new world. The reason I'm creating a new world is because using this mod disables achievements. Once you pick a world that you want to equip the mod on, you're going to go ahead and head over to resource packs on the left side and then over on the right side you will see wizard resource. You're going to press A on it and then press plus. And then over down here, it should do it automatically the second you put on the pack but if it doesn't it'll be down here and same thing. For the behavior packs, move it up. Make sure it is on active behavior packs. And if you want your friends to be able to see and use the mod as well, make sure you go above in the resource packs and check mark this. Require players to accept resource packs to join. Now all you have to do is go up on the left side and click create or play world, depending on whether you made a new one or you're just gonna use it on a world you currently have already. Once your world is done loading, Wizards should be spawning naturally, but I'm going to go ahead, since I'm in creative, I'm going to spawn them in with eggs. W-I-Z-A-R. There you go. There is a evil wizard and a wizard. So the way you tame them is with emeralds. So I'm going to get myself some emeralds right here. And then I'm going to spawn in a normal wizard and show you guys how to tame him. So all you have to do is walk up to him, hold an emerald, and then left click him over and over 
until he shows hearts just like that. Now he is mine and he will follow me everywhere I go. He'll also protect me from hostile mobs. So I'm I'm going to show you mm. <laughs> Mhm, mm that is right. Mm. So you can left click him to stop him from moving similar to parrots and dogs and cats. So he won't move anymore since I hit left click on him with my left trigger. And if I hit left click oh, on him again, Yep, I will go to the cavern, sir. But yeah, since I left-clicked him, he's going to follow me wherever I go, as you can see. I'm going to spawn in an evil wizard and show you how they fight each other. Here you go, that's an evil wizard. So they're going to run around and then start fighting each other. As you can see, the evil, the evil wizard has shot my wizard. Come on, wizard, fight him. There you go, there you go. He shot one fireball. There you go. Ooh, this is a real battle. Let's see who wins. These guys are kind of just like running around drinking potions trying to stop themselves from dying. But yeah, they can drink potions to heal themselves and then shoot fireballs. And I'm pretty sure they can drink potions. What the hell? This guy's tweaking out. There you go. Go get him. Drink your potion to death. Drink, drink a potion until he dies. But yeah, other than that, that's how you get the wizards in your world. If the tutorial ended up working for you guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Go ahead and suggest any other mods you guys want me to upload on how to get. I also plan on making a tutorial on how to get animated water in Minecraft. It's going to be a new shader pack that I found thanks to one of you guys in the comments. And I'm going to show you guys how to get that in my next modded tutorial. Without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Check out every single tutorial I have in the description. I have an x-ray mod for ores. I have an x-ray mod for chests and mobs. I have a Shrek mod. I have a shaders tutorial. I have a tutorial on, a, on how to get free skin packs. And last but not least, I have a tutorial on how to download free worlds on Minecraft so you can play Skyblock on your Xbox One. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!